Not every job is a great job. And what that means is sometimes you're gonna to have to tell clients that you're not gonna put 100% into an opportunity. Now you might be thinking, no, that's, I can't do that. Well, the reality is, is that in a, as a contingent recruiter, you only get paid if you're successful. And so you need to manage the time and energy you put into vacancies to make sure most of that time converts into money. And so how would you tell a client that you're not gonna be able to help them? Well, firstly, just manage their expectations. Just explain why you're not gonna put 100% into it. And so it might go something like this. Mr. Client, uh, I manage my time based on two things. The amount of commitment I get from a client and the amount of effort that a role is gonna to take to find a candidate for. And at the moment, the more effort I need to put in, the more commitment I need from a client. So at the moment, you're looking for a difficult to find skill set, but it's already with four or five other agencies and you're not really willing to meet me. And so as such, I will keep an eye out. I'll see who I know for you, but I'm not gonna be able to do any proactive searching through LinkedIn or maybe referrals and recommendations because I really don't have the time to invest in something that may not come off. If you've got the ability or time to meet me, then I'll be able to give a bit more time. If you wanna pay me some money in advance, I can do some proactive market mapping for you. But as it stands at the moment, what I'll do is I'll see who I know already, I'll have a look on the job boards and I'll put an advert out and if someone comes up, I'll send them over. Now you might be thinking, well, what if a client says, like, they're not happy with that? Well, it's their choice. If they wanna give you more commitment, if they wanna pay you more, then you can increase that effort. It's not bad to say no to a client. What is bad is telling a client you're gonna work it hard and not, because then they'll realize you under-promised and under-delivered. And it's okay because there will be other opportunities out there for you.